Yeah, here it is. This is the high voltage battery of the all new 2023 Honda HRV hybrid or the Honda Vessel. They're exactly the same. I want to take this battery apart and show you. Is this a serviceable battery? How often do you need to service? How difficult is to service this high voltage battery? And what are the components that are inside? Is it the same battery as the old HRV? Let's open it up and find out together. So stick around. All right, let me remove the main cover. But what do we have here? First of all, we have this little cover that is supposed to have the service plug grip, but of course it's already off. So I'm gonna take these out. I also have this main cover, but this main cover goes to the front and this is actually the air outlet. One of the things you need to know is that the new Honda HRV hybrid uses an active air cooling system, very similar to the old one. But I think this one is different because the air inlet comes from the back seat of the car directly right here into the battery inlet. I can see that the cooling fan is the first component different from the other, which the high voltage battery was the last component. Now let me take it out. We still have the very same four cell stack. The only difference is that these cell stack, one of them using 18 cells and the other one using 12 cells, which is telling me that this battery is only using 60 cells. So the battery is a little smaller than the older version. So let me take it out and I'll show you. The main connection out there, now hear this. This battery is completely depleted, so it's completely safe for me to work. That's why I'm not using my safety gloves, okay? So we already disconnect. This is the main positive and negative outlet that goes to the inverter. And then of course, the communication line. I have to remove the battery from this pan. Warning, do not drive these hybrid cars through floodwaters because this battery is inside these plastic pans completely sealed. So if water comes in, water is not coming out. Look at the battery cooling fan inlet, okay, which is great. The battery is now the first component to get the air and blows the air inside the battery and it's not blowing from the top anymore. It's not blowing from the bottom, which is still better. You know what? Because all the dust and debris is not accumulated anymore on top of the cells as the old one, which is one of the things that I was criticizing very much of the old vessel. Can you see? If water comes in, the water is not coming out. <laughs> in order to service the battery cooling fan, it's very easy to extract because let me show you with this air inlet and this is the outlet that goes to the bottom of the battery, which I'm still considering. This is an amazing design now, way better than the old one. So the cooling fan is coming out actually very easy. This is the air inlet, the cooling fan and blows to the bottom of the battery. So super amazing design. Let me show you how it works. Better perspective now okay, of the cooling fan that goes right here. So excellent, the air is not going anymore to the top of the sails, so it's going directly to the bottom. So whatever old dust and debris, whatever kind of crap, because remember, unfortunately, this hybrid battery is still not using any type of air filter. So all the material is going to get accumulated on the bottom of this pan, which I consider is super great. So yeah, you can easily extract the cooling fan, open it up and clean it inside, which I have tons of videos showing you about this topic. All right, so one of the major differences between the new Honda Vessel and the old Honda Vessel is that the high voltage system is not located as a complete unit inside the battery. The inverter assembly and the DC to DC converter that was in the earliest version inside the battery, completely gone. The new version is using the hybrid system on the front. It's now a liquid cooler inverter assembly and the DC to DC converter as a complete unit. This is the battery junction box. You have to remember that to start a hybrid car is not about boom. no. You have to close a high voltage contactor, which is exactly these two contacts that also brings pre-charge relay with the resistor. We have also the battery management system, which is exactly this computer. But lithium ion batteries require a different battery management system compared for example, the nickel metal hydride from Toyota. This one needs to use way more sophisticated battery management system because this battery is a lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries require individual cell monitoring and cell balancing system. So yeah, you could see the orange connections. It's kind of, uh, yeah, has a tons of connections each one of the cells is monitored as well as more temperature sensors. Does this battery requires preventive maintenance? Unfortunately, over time, yes. Now this is something that you do not need to do every day, every month. But I would strongly consider that you could be performing a preventive maintenance to the high voltage battery probably every couple of years. I would say is more than enough. The reason is 
dust and debris. There's no filtering for the battery system, so all this kind of crap is going inside and will get accumulated on the sub pan of the battery. So in order to clean it, we have to completely disassemble the high voltage battery, which yeah, I have tons of videos showing you, but I, I basically wanted to show you the main structure. I already took out the high voltage battery as making a damage report for the customer. This battery is completely damaged. But in essence, servicing a lithium ion battery as for preventive maintenance, it's just for cleaning purposes. As long as you keep it clean and keep it cool, you should have hybrid battery for many, many years. Yep, so let me just give you a 3D travel through the high voltage battery of the new vessel, the battery junction box, battery management system. Take a look at all the boss bars and all the, the power distribution from the size of the battery. Longer with 18 cells, with 12 cells, and still using four cell stack. This is the battery inlet now, and look, precisely my point. Everything will get accumulated on the bottom of the battery now. And these are all the cell monitoring system, the boss bar that instead connecting this to the other module, it passes through the service plug rib. So yeah, no more cable, which is great. The new cooling system is way better and more efficient. So truly amazing battery. This is actually the very first video in the world showing you the high voltage battery of the all new Honda Vessel Hybrid. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye bye. I have to assemble back.